In this demo, we'll show you how easy it is to set up integrations within Uncork. To get started, I'll jump right into the Uncork demo environment. This is where trained Uncork creators build applications from scratch or from our rich set of pre-built templates. To create a new integration, we'll navigate to the services page where we can set up the integration for our Uncork environment. To demonstrate building an integration, I'll create a completely new integration with a random API I found on the web. This API is called jservice.io, and when you send it a request, the API responds with JSON containing one of over 150,000 trivia question and answers from its database. To set this up, I'll add a service title, which is the name of the service, and the service protocol, which will be the base URL for the endpoint I'm going to access. In this case, jservice.io forward slash API forward slash random. Uncork supports every authentication type, including OAuth, tokens, simple authentications. The Trivia API doesn't require any authentication, so I'll just finish setting it up so we can test it. Now let's make our way back into the app builder and configure a new module to test our integration. First, we'll name this module. Let's call it Demo API Integration. Now let's add a two column layout to separate our question from our answer, and then a text box within each of them for the content to live in. Now, with our layout nearly complete, it's time to configure the integration. To do this, we'll use Uncork's plugin component. This allows us to use the services we set up within the Services Administration tab. We'll call the plugin Get Trivia, and then we'll choose our trigger type. In this case, we'll make it manually triggered based off of clicking a button. Next, we'll map our outputs. This is where we're telling the application, OK, we want to take the question and answer fields in our form and populate them with the question and answer responses coming from the Trivia API. In this case, as you can see, the name of our components and the names of the API are the same. We can of course name our components whatever we want to and map them just the same. Continuing down, we now need to set up our service and choose the integration. As you can see, we can choose between an Uncork integration or an external integration. In this case, we'll choose external and select the service we just created. Here in the data source URL, you can see the base URL for the API. Now we'll press save and we'll be ready to add our button. We'll use this button to trigger our plugin component, meaning clicking on the button will call the trivia API and retrieve the question and answer data which will be placed into the text areas. Here all we'll need to do is name our button, so add a label that represents what the button does, in this case get trivia Q&A, and then choose the type of action we want this button to do. In this case it's an event that will trigger the get trivia plugin. Now let's save and preview our module. Here you can see the simple layout for our application. Now when we press the button, we'll get the question and answer, and as we continue pressing it, we'll keep retrieving data from this external API. The next feature we'll demonstrate is data transforms. Transforms are how we can reformat data before or after using it in an integration. For example, if we wanted to send our trivia question and answer to another service that only accepts JSON, we would use a transform to format our data for that integration. Here, all we need to do is write out the JSON structure that the API requires and incorporate data.question and data.answer to reference the data from the module. Now, when we save our transform and review it, we'll see that it's formatted in JSON just how the API expects it. 